A very cool story from the world of music and artificial intelligence. A conference board survey found more than half of U.S. workers are now using generative AI on the job. As AI technology becomes more accessible, businesses are now looking for guidance on implementation and managing these new services. Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Should we allow AI machines to flood the internet with propaganda and fake news? Should we develop non-human minds smarter than our own? Machines that might one day outnumber us or outsmart us. Whether you like it or not, AI has firmly established its presence and is poised to become an integral part of our future. Its relentless advancement poses the potential to reshape our employment scenery. From programs that play checkers, to search engines, to chat GPT, we will explore the intricate history of artificial intelligence and its uses in the labor landscape while tackling many of the ethical concerns surrounding it. We should start by asking, what is artificial intelligence? What is machine learning? And are they the same thing? Because honestly, like before this, I thought they were the same, but it turns out they aren't. So I did what any other big brain journalist would do in this situation, and I asked ChatGPT4 to briefly define artificial intelligence and machine learning, and then explain the differences between the two. Here's what it told me. Artificial intelligence, or AI, can be defined as the creation of computer systems capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence, such as problem solving, learning, and decision making. It encompasses a broad range of techniques and applications, from rule-based systems to machine learning algorithms. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the development of algorithms enabling computers to learn patterns from data, make predictions, and improve performance without explicit programming. It encompasses various techniques, including supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. While artificial intelligence is the broader concept of creating intelligent machines, Machine learning specifically focuses on algorithms and models that enable computers to learn and adapt from data, forming a subset within the realm of AI. In essence, AI encompasses diverse approaches, including rule-based systems and expert systems. While machine learning is a specific methodology for achieving AI, emphasizing learning and adaptation. Now to understand the history of artificial intelligence, we must go back to 1936, when the English mathematician, computer scientist, logician, cryptanalyst, philosopher, theoretical biologist, and war hero, Alan Matheson Turing proposed his theory of computation, which suggested that a machine, by shuffling symbols as simple as zeros and ones, could simulate both mathematical deduction and formal reasoning. This along with concurrent discoveries in cybernetics and information theory, provoked researchers to consider the possibility of building an electronic brain. In 1950, Turing published his most renowned paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, which he introduced The Imitation Game, better known now as the Turing Test. The Turing Test is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to, or indistinguishable from, that of a human. So essentially, a human judge would have blind conversations with both humans and a machine. If the judge couldn't reliably tell the machine apart from the human, the machine would pass the test. By 1951, computer intelligence was actively being pursued in the UK with some of the world's first AI programs being written that year. While using the Ferranti Mark I computer of the University of Manchester, checkers and chess programs were developed allowing users to play against the computer. The field of American AI research was founded at a workshop at Dartmouth College in 1956. These pioneers and their students created groundbreaking programs showcasing computers, learning checkers strategies, solving algebraic word problems, proving logical theorems, 
and even demonstrating English language capabilities. Subsequently, artificial intelligence laboratories were subsequently established at several British and U.S. universities in the late 1950s and early 1960s. By 1973, both the U.S. and British governments cut off exploratory research in response to a report written by Sir Michael James Lighthill officially titled Artificial Intelligence, a General Survey, which concluded that AI research had not fulfilled its promises and criticized its lack of progress. This ultimately led to a gloomy period of limited activity in the field known as the AI winter. The early 1980s witnessed a resurgence in AI research driven by the commercial success of expert systems which emulated the knowledge and analytical abilities of human experts. By 1985, the AI market had surpassed a billion dollars. Inspired by Japan's fifth generation computer project, the US and British governments reinstated funding for academic research. Unfortunately, with the decline of the Lisp machine market in 1987 due to the emergence of more powerful and cost-effective general purpose workstations and personal computers, AI faced another period of skepticism, leading to a second, longer-lasting winter. AI gradually restored its reputation in the late 1990s and early 21st century by exploiting formal mathematical methods and by finding specific solutions to specific problems. By the year 2000, solutions developed by AI researchers were being widely used. Starting around 2002, a group of academic researchers grew apprehensive that the field of AI was deviating from its initial objective of developing adaptable, fully intelligent machines. In response, they established the subfield known as Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, which garnered substantial funding and support from various institutions by the 2010s. In 2012, deep learning emerged as a dominant force in industry benchmarks, subsequently permeating various sectors. Numerous alternative methods for specific tasks were forsaken as deep learning's triumph stemmed from advancements in hardware, including faster computers, graphics processing units, cloud computing, and the availability of extensive data sets. By 2022, an estimated $50 billion was annually invested in AI in the United States alone, with approximately 20% of new U.S. computer science PhD graduates specializing in AI. The majority of these advancements have predominantly originated within the United States, where companies, universities, and research labs have taken the lead in AI research. Okay, so now that we've briefly looked at the history of AI, let's look at some of the ways AI has been used in the labor force. There are thousands of successful AI applications used to solve specific problems for specific industries or institutions. In a 2017 survey, one in five companies reported they had incorporated AI in some offerings or processes. In the realm of agriculture, AI aids farmers in pinpointing areas requiring irrigation, fertilization, pesticide treatments, or yield enhancement. Agronomists leverage AI for research and development. AI has been used to predict the ripening time for crops such as tomatoes, monitor soil moisture, operate agricultural robots, conduct predictive analytics, classify livestock pig call emotions, automate greenhouses, detect diseases and pests, and save water. Utilizing AI in healthcare and medical research holds the promise of elevating patient care and enhancing quality of life. Adhering to the principles of the Hippocratic Oath, healthcare practitioners are ethically driven to incorporate AI when its applications can provide more precise diagnoses and treatments for patients. In medical research, AI serves as a crucial tool for processing and integrating big data, especially significant in the development of organoids and tissue engineering, where microscopy imaging plays a pivotal role in fabrication. Furthermore, AI is proposed as a solution to address disparities in funding allocated to various research fields. New AI tools can deepen our understanding of biomedically relevant pathways, for example, 
AlphaFold 2 demonstrated the ability to approximate, in hours rather than months, the 3D structure of a protein. In 2023, it was reported that AI-guided drug discovery helped find a class of antibiotics capable of killing two different types of drug-resistant bacteria. That's just a few examples of how AI serves humanity in some areas of industry, but what about creative fields? 2017 was a massive year for deep learning technology with the emergence of the transformer architecture, a machine learning model that revolutionized natural language processing and other sequence to sequence tasks by introducing the self-attention mechanism, allowing the model to weigh the importance of different parts of input sequences dynamically. It has become a foundational architecture for various state-of-the-art AI models. In late 2017, we saw some of the first images and videos to be manipulated with deep fake technology after an anonymous user on the social media platform, Reddit posted an algorithm that leveraged existing artificial intelligence algorithms to create these deep fakes. Other users then shared the code on GitHub, a major code sharing service, where it became free software and publicly available. Applications, like the Russian-made app FakeApp, soon appeared simplifying the programming process. While utilizing applications of this nature may offer an enjoyable experience, it is imperative to acknowledge that there are substantial ethical implications introduced by the advent of these deep fake technologies. For starters, tools like this can be used to create and spread misinformation about certain individuals causing colossal damage to one's reputation. They can also be used to manipulate vulnerable individuals into scamming them out of their money. Finally, Deep fake technology can be used to create non-consensual pornography of unsuspecting victims. In 2019, artist Bill Poster and AI researcher Dr. Daniel Howe made a deep fake of Mark Zuckerberg intending to explore the dangers posed by the influence of AI-manipulated media. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data, all their secrets, their lives, their futures. I owe it all to Spectre. Spectre showed me that whoever controls the data controls the future. In early 2021, deep learning technology went a step further as we saw text-to-image generation models like OpenAI's DALI-E create images from text prompts using a massive database of images from the internet. Again, we have another application that brings many benefits to the creative industry. However, we run into problems again when we consider that many of these online-based AI models are using data picked from the internet without consent from the original creators, resulting in plagiarism. In 2021, Rafik Anadol, a Turkish-American new media artist and designer, began using AI image generation models to produce abstract, dreamlike environments. Anadol's body of work addresses the challenges and the possibilities that ubiquitous computing has imposed on humanity and what it means to be a human in the age of AI. In late 2022, OpenAI launched ChatGPT3. ChatGPT is a generative trained transformers algorithm that contains a series of large language models that are based on the semantic relationships between words and sentences. It enables users to refine and steer a conversation towards a desired length, format, style, level of detail, and language. Successive prompts and replies, known as prompt engineering, are considered at each conversation stage as a context. ChatGPT can also fulfill many tasks such as answering questions, language translating, generating code, summarizing, math problem solving, creative writing assistance, and grammar correction. ChatGPT4 which launched in early 2023 goes a step further by allowing users to submit images and voice recordings as prompts to which can analyze and respond. Additionally, there are concerns about malicious use, including the generation of harmful or inappropriate content, as well as the potential for automated manipulation, such as spam or disinformation campaigns. Transparency and accountability in the development and deployment of ChatGPT 
also raise ethical considerations, demanding clear communication about its capabilities and limitations to users. The last tool I wanted to talk about is one I've had tons of experience with, and that tool is Retrieval-Based Voice Conversion, or RVC. If you were on the internet anytime in 2023, you may have heard a song pop up in your recommendations called Heart on My Sleeve by an anonymous artist going by the alias Ghostwriter. The track featured artificially generated vocals from Drake and The Weeknd. When the song dropped, it received widespread acclaim, but it also caused a lot of panic with artists who feared being replaced by AI, resulting in record labels like Universal Music Group to nuke the song off the face of the earth. Personally, I feel like the response was a little over the top, primarily because I feel these concerns are deeply misinformed about how involved AI was in the creation of this song. Let me explain. Many people believe that AI generated the heart on my sleeve from scratch, but this simply isn't true. In fact, the composing, producing, and even the vocals were performed by a human. So what did AI do? You see, using RVC, Ghostwriter was able to create a voice model for both Drake and The Weeknd by compiling isolated vocals from their songs and feeding them into an AI algorithm that trains the model by chopping up the audio files and rearranging them into a spectrum from a high to low register. Once completed, Ghostwriter could then use RVC to reconstruct his source vocals using the data compiled from the models he created to make them sound like Drake and The Weeknd. Despite the music community's disapproval of this tech, RVC went open source and others were inspired, including myself to make our own AI covers. In little to no time at all, places like YouTube were filled to the brim with these AI covers, I still remember back in June of 2023 seeing all these Spongebob AI covers on my recommended page and thinking, man, this shit is awesome, I want to do these too. The only problem was that I was a little late to the game and all the good music was already covered. Desperate to find an untapped market, I ultimately settled on folk music and began making Mr. Krabs covers of Gordon Lightfoot and Stan Rogers songs. Just a lead machine's luck to go away before I get my ferry. Throw the cup away, the bottle on me old to have a sip of wine. And I found a little success, not much, but better than I anticipated. However, I wanted to go further, so I trained a voice model of Gordon Lightfoot and Stan Rogers, which I used to make covers. I did this for a few months until Universal Music Group took action against my channel and I was forced to remove them. Even with all things considered, people are also concerned about using someone's voice without their permission, with some people comparing AI covers to deep fakes. While I understand these concerns, I don't think these two are comparable. Most people who use RVC make covers of their favorite characters singing their favorite songs, as opposed to most people who use programs like FaceApp are using them to make unconsensual pornography. There's actual data to prove that. Now I'm not saying that RVC is completely harmless. It has been used to scam vulnerable people out of their money over the phone, but I don't see it being anywhere near as harmful. I also don't believe that this would hurt corporate profits or artists either. In fact, I believe it would benefit them in the long run. But what about people using their voices mischievously? Although I believe AI reconstructed vocals are far from passing as human, I understand this concern, and I believe that the original voice the models are based on should be able to retain the right to request the removal of content they deem harmful towards them or others. But then again, I don't believe people should be able to own voices. I feel like being able to copyright the way someone's voice sounds violates the rights of individuals with similar sounding voices and would ultimately become a policing nightmare. The development of RVC has led to the creation of other interesting tools as well, such as speech synthesized text-to-speech. In January 2023, we saw the launch of Eleven Labs, which incorporated high-end text-to-speech models, RVC, and other AI and deep learning algorithms to create realistic speech, which can be used for a wide variety of applications. 
Even the narration you're listening to now was generated by Eleven Labs using a voice model I trained with my own vocals. And let's be honest, I sound like a goddamn robot when I speak anyway, so it's not like you would notice. So before I finish, I just want to give you my take on a few questions we touched on at the start of the video. First being, should we use AI to automate all of the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? And my answer is, yeah. Why not? I believe that AI is just part of industrialization. I mean, since the beginning, man has been making tools and machines to improve conditions and eliminate mundane and meaningless work. And the less time we have to spend on this work, the more time we can engage in recreational activities. So ultimately, I welcome it. When it comes to the more creative sides of labor, I think AI will make significant contributions to the field, but I don't think it will ever replace human beings. And for the simple fact that machines aren't and never will be creative or original, henceforth, it will always be restricted to the logistical formulas we feed it. Another important question is, should we allow people to create and spread misinformation with AI? My answer is mostly yes. I think this question is mostly a matter of free speech, and I feel we have an obligation to uphold that principle. However, I feel that there should still be exceptions to that principle, of course, being hate speech and non-consensual and illegal pornography production. Artificial intelligence presents both remarkable opportunities and formidable challenges. As AI technologies continue to advance, their integration into diverse sectors of society holds the promise of improving efficiency, solving complex problems, and enhancing our daily lives. However, ethical considerations, transparency, and accountability must be prioritized to navigate the potential pitfalls, including biases, job displacement, and misuse. Striking a balance between innovation and responsibility is imperative, ensuring that AI development aligns with human values and fosters equitable benefits for all. As we stand at the cusp of this transformative era, a thoughtful and collaborative approach to AI development will determine how we harness its potential for the betterment of society.